what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Nursing Uncharted, the podcast that delves into different specialties and uncovers uncharted conversations in your practice. My name is Maggie Reichard, pronouns she, her. I'm a medical ICU nurse and your host for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening and coming, tuning in with us today. Um, if you are interested in coming on the podcast, if you really like your specialty and feel like you could, you know, um, talk about it, please email me at nursinguncharted at amnhealthcare.com. I'm always looking for ambassadors, people that love their fields. So I would love to talk to you. This episode, before we get started, is sponsored by Amen Passport. Amen Passport is a highly rated travel nursing app that Amen has created that helps you find, book, and manage assignments all from your phone. You receive fast track notifications when you use the app. So if you're interested in travel nursing, that is your first place to start. So today I have two wonderful humans on with me that I've known over the podcasting space for a little bit now, um, but I just got to meet them in person just a little bit ago because we were both at TravCon and this episode is all about TravCon and what we thought, you know, what the good and the bad, you know, was it worth it? All, all of the above. Um, so I'm super excited to introduce Emily and Hannah. They're podcast hosts of the podcast Drunk or Delirious. And um, yeah, I'm so excited to have you guys on the show today. Thank you for having yes, us. We are <laughs> too. So I know. It's so good to see you virtually again so soon. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, I've been on Drunk or Delirious and this is the first time I've had you guys on Nursing Uncharted. So uh, it's been long overdue. Yes, Full we had circle. Maggie on ours twice, so mm-hmm. yeah, check her out. And Hannah's actually, Hannah's been on Nursing Uncharted. You were like the third episode. Wow, that's crazy. I think, or something like that. You were like Pretty one soon. of the yeah. very that's early crazy. ones. Yeah, that was the first podcast I was ever on, and I was like so nervous, <laughs> sweating. <laughs> <laughs> and now great. it's just normal. Now it's normal. <laughs> yeah. And how long have you been? Because we had you on to talk about travel nursing. Yeah. Um, how long have I been travel nursing? Yeah. Or, like back then. And so because you've been traveling ever since then, too. Right? I've been traveling for like five years, I would say. Okay. And I think I think you had me on when I had first moved back to Pittsburgh. So that was probably like yeah. two years ago. Does that sound about right? Yeah. 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 I think it was like 2021, like yeah. spring 2021. Yeah. Crazy. Very full cool. circle. So Very full circle. Hannah's still traveling and Emily works in surgical center. Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> no travel for me right now, but that's okay. Yeah. Have you ever traveled, Emily? Were you traveling? Yeah, before? I traveled yeah. for three years. Nice. Mm-hmm. And NICU and NICU. And then I um, now am working in a surgery center because the hours are everything yeah <laughs> no nights holidays weekends uh, i work four days a week it's awesome it's that's so oh i love that i did a endoscopy assignment once and had that schedule where it was oh no yeah i did endoscopy but i also did outpatient like endocrinology and it was four tens it was like no holidays or weekends all days i'm Delete. like oh this I get it. I totally it's get it. so nice. <laughs> Consistency <laughs> is like literally amazing, which yeah. you don't get working in the hospital night shift, like mm-hmm. zero amount of consistency. So, yeah, I know I am lucky that I have a like I work all nights, but I'm because they're just like the same three every week that like makes all the difference. That's so I remember you saying that what you work like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, That's so nice. It makes, yeah. It's like, I don't even, I mean, I know that nights are like not good for you long term, but I'm like trying not to think about it because it works for my life so much (laughs) right now. But I'm like thinking, you know, it's not going to be a long term solution, but it, it works for us for now. Yeah. That's what's important, honestly. (laughs) Yeah. I feel like, yeah. Yeah. I I don't know. I like nine to five, five day a week kind of sounds terrible to me too, but then you get your weekends off. So I feel like it's, it's a trade off, right? I mean, Mm -hmm. at least you get solid time to spend with your baby and you, like you were saying on our podcast, like you get to see her every day. Yeah. Yeah. I know that it really does make all the difference. Yeah. And Hannah, you are currently on a staycation 
right? In between jobs. <laughs> Staycation, <laughs> fun employment. Fun employment. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Yes. I, yeah, I've taken off. This happened to me last time. I took a long fun employment line. I've taken off a little bit longer than I initially intended to. But um, mm-hmm. I have an assignment lined up, just waiting to get licensed. But I'm in Denver, um, where Emily lives. So we're together, which is cool. so fun. So fun. We're still just like, every day we're like, wait, what? We could just like go to the gym it's together so we could just like hang out and <laughs> so do normal awesome. things yeah it's fun oh I know I loved that when I when I traveled I would only go to places where I like had friends and family and so just like all of a sudden you're just in their life like yeah <laughs> just normally I'm like this, this is, is amazing now. like all that when we traveled to Denver like all my my two of my three college roommates live in Denver and my sister lived in Denver and my brother-in-law so it was like all of a sudden I was just like living with all of them and going to bars and just you know going on walks or whatever I'm like this is just so nice like it's so nice that travel nursing can like allot you that uh, that time that you would never never be able to just pick up your life and hang out with some of your loved ones Mm -hmm. it's It's awesome yeah have you like settled into Denver so far I'm getting there um I have like all of my stuff pretty much unpacked, but my roommate is coming um, pretty soon. So then that'll be nice because then she can kind of like move in and get herself settled. But yeah, I mean, you know, as you know, I just went to Vegas. So (laughs) I feel like I kind of got here, went to Vegas, and then now I'm getting back and like getting the laundry done and like get, you know, getting my life back in order a little bit. But yeah, I I feel like it's definitely getting there and I'm getting into my routines and stuff. So. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Get all all settled. Take your time. Yeah. Well, so yeah, we just came back from Vegas. Like when when was this? (laughs) On Thursday? Wait, when did you guys when did you guys get back Wednesday? Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, actually I did too. Got there Saturday night or Saturday like late afternoon, came back Wednesday morning. Yeah. I heard from somebody that for next year they're like just take that whole day to just recover like Wednesday and like fly out Thursday because yeah mm. like the after party and everything like Tuesday night like is was just <laughs> rough for this one person that, that it's told really, me I was very unwell on Wednesday <laughs> <laughs> and Thursday honestly like it's a two-day yeah. hangover now well, it's just, oh, yeah. I mean, the, the whole event too, it's like, I mean, you have conference, but then there's also, you know, this whole other, you know, mm-hmm. entity of TrapCon that's just all, you know, networking opportunities and stuff and like parties and everything after hours. And so you're just yep. going constantly for three days. Yeah. They're such honestly, long days. Mm-hmm. I, they are. I honestly think four nights was like far too many. <laughs> Three yeah. is three is plenty. Yeah. Four, I was like, oh my god, I don't know if I can survive another night. Yeah, yeah, that's actually very true. If you if you take that extra day to like recover, then you also have the self control to like not experience Vegas that last <laughs> night. Like you yeah. have to actually take that day to relax, and who knows if you'll do that. I probably wouldn't because if I'm paying oh, yeah, for the hotel, I'd be yeah, like, like, well, I'm here, so I might as well yeah. do something, you know? Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot, but it's so fun. Like, you come, I came home from that just feeling so, like, motivated and excited for everything and all the people that we met and networked with and like want to have on our podcast and all of, you know, um, yeah. our plans for the future. So it, it's really great. I just died a little bit like, <laughs> yeah. from, from the party. <laughs> yeah. I hear that. I hear that. Yeah. I feel like every time I come back from conferences, I'm always like, you know, energized and motivated, mm-hmm. you know, like from networking opportunities, but also like just some of the, yeah, like the people that you meet and like some of the talks that you listen to, too. Do you guys listen? Did you guys go to the keynote speaker? We didn't. Terry did you? Foster. So I did. So we'll probably set up this episode talking about I went to a lot of the, the <laughs> classes 
Emily and Hannah went to a lot of parties. We can we can like cover both worlds. But yes. my my experience at Vegas was like a little toned down because I brought my literally my entire family. Yeah, <laughs> different experiences. That's okay. It was a you different can experience. I went to like Rainforest Cafe when you guys were like out, you know, out pool party having fun. But I, well, I had to bring the baby. I just, I, yeah. first of all, I went to NurseCon back in April and I couldn't bring her and it was just like really hard on me. And I just felt like so sick leaving her. And so I was like dreading that again. I didn't want to do it again. Um, But also like we had, but it, you know, from like a logistical standpoint, it was fine because that I left her because we had a ton of milk saved up. Like I'm, I've been like breastfeeding and pumping. I haven't had her on formula, but I had like 700 ounces extra or like something. So I had plenty to spare, but like yeah. now we had like literally none. So there was no option. Like I just had to bring her. And, um, but then I was like, well, I can't, you know, so I have to bring Matt so that he can like watch her while I'm at the conference. Mm-hmm. But then like Matt and I want to hang. So like I brought my mom. <laughs> while in Vegas. <laughs> so it just like just tacked on. But it was it was I loved that we had her. Like it ended up being so much fun to have her. And like we walked around the expo. And she just like stole a bunch of hearts. She was the She's most popular so one cute. there. <laughs> <laughs> she was. She's yeah. so She's adorable. cute. It Thanks. was so nice to meet her in person. I was like, oh my gosh, little, I've seen so many pictures, but she's just a squishy little sweet thing. <laughs> yeah. She's so funny because like she really has to, like her personality, if she doesn't know you, she like mean mugs you. <laughs> like until she like gets warmed up and then she's like so happy and just jumping around. But like she was just staring people down i'm like ah, ha, ha, okay <laughs> i'm like <laughs> yeah that's funny yeah but she's so yeah funny. it was so fun to bring her so yeah i'm glad we it did worked more, out because like, otherwise things. like you wouldn't maybe have been able to go so i'm glad it worked i out. i honestly i don't know like i i guess i could have put her like on formula for a week but like that messes with their stomach and yeah you know i wouldn't want to yeah. do that for her that would be a big yeah. change all at once too Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So you guys went to TravCon last year, too, right? We yeah, did. This, this is did year you, two. Did you feel like there was a big difference between last year and this year? I, I think they're overall def- pretty similar. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely bigger. Um, okay. Attendance-wise and the expo hall was definitely bigger this year. Yeah. Um, I feel like I walked in there and I was, like, extremely overwhelmed. Um, yeah. And yes, yeah, so I yeah I walked in there and was like, oh my gosh, there are so many booths here, like so yeah. much more than last year, and there were so many ones that were like gigantic, yeah, like a full like you walking into an Apple store is like what it feels like, yeah, like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, they look like floats almost, like in a parade, it's a parade like float, they, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. everything is so like <laughs> I was registering and the guy behind me had like this giant like balloon arch behind him that he was mm. just you know walking around with like waiting for their booth like so extra <laughs> so but i'm extra. here for it <laughs> yeah yeah i did feel like a lot of the talks were repeated like a yeah. lot of the topics were the same as last year for the sessions okay. yeah. so which is good and also kind of like well if i've already been here i'm not gonna go gotcha. to all of these Oh, it's interesting. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's I wonder if they will. I feel like there was definitely room to increase the the amount of, of talks. Like, I, I think that there was a couple people that spoke twice in mm-hmm. in like the two days. You know, they, they'd have like a Monday session and a Tuesday session. So mm-hmm. I wonder if it's just they need to like, like do a little more outreach as far as you know i like, i think on. so like if we wanted to like hannah we could sign up to do a, a talk i'm pretty sure like yeah. i don't know on what but we could <laughs> yeah. you know if, <laughs> yeah. like you could just like easily sign up so i think that they just need more people to do that for sure yeah, yeah. I would agree because there that. was even some like there were some really good um 
So we can talk about some of the talks. I, uh, Alex McCoy and Alex and Keaton McCoy um, are two nurse. Uh, Keaton is a physical therapist and Alex is a nurse. And they have two kids and they travel in an RV. And they've been traveling oh, cool. for a while. And sh- this, so they did a couple talks on like what that's like because a lot of people don't travel with kids. They don't think it's an option. And, you yeah. know, they yeah. pretty much their whole talk was about like, it totally is, but they also, they, they didn't like sugarcoat anything. It was like, they talked about the pros and cons of like how they've done it in the past and they've, they've accomplished it in various different ways. Like one person will work while another person doesn't, or they'll work separate shifts or maybe I think there was one option to like bring a family member with, you know, whatever works with your lifestyle. But they like went through, there was like eight different options. I think that they've, that they either came up with or have experienced wow. themselves. That's cool. And I feel like that's, that's really interesting. helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was how old so is helpful. their kiddo? Two. They have two kids. I think they're both under like six, I think. Huh. Wow. I want to say. Well, they're... right. Like you can do it till they're school aged and then. Yeah. They have to be in school. That's awesome. <laughs> right. I guess you could homeschool or them. You could but... homeschool them. But that's it's like true. a whole nother. Yeah. So they're doing it. And then Alex also did another talk about um, she pretty much just told her experience about canceling a contract and how to do that kind of with some grace. And it was a really great like she talked about all the red flags of the assignment. Essentially, it was just like a very unsafe situation or one day that like she had no help and and she she also like talked about the difference between a difficult assignment and an unsafe situation um where and there was one day where she felt like a a, she was a she's a peds nurse a picky nurse and she was like a kid could have died like if Mm. like because of this situation they could have easily been been harmed and so so scary yeah yeah. and so she essentially i think the like big takeaways were just like she had a really good relationship with her recruiter and with her agency and they you know backed her and also she just i think she like gave it gave it another try like the next day and then the next day was worse and yeah so like i I think she was there for like another two weeks and then, and then, um, that sounds like they exactly. were really, really quick. Yeah. That sounds exactly like what I went through. Um, really? Yeah. Did you have La- a- uh, like, was it last summer or the summer before the summer before like summer of 2022, I guess yeah, I was in New York sure. city. Yeah. Same, same thing. Um, mm. yeah. Super unsafe environment. Um, like day after day like yeah definitely the babies could have died like it was really scary to witness but same thing like my recruiter had my back and he got me out of it and kind of like step by step told me what I needed to do to get out of it and yeah I'm glad I did I was scared I was gonna lose my license like it was not it was not good yeah so I think it's I think it's important to talk about yeah oh absolutely because yeah you're not it's yeah, it's your license on the line. And I think one thing that Alex did really well is that she really painted the picture of what her conditions were like, because I think, you know, recruiters aren't, aren't, you know, they, they're adjacent healthcare adjacent, you know, like they're, they might understand, but they'll never like truly understand Mm -hmm. what goes on day by day. So like you can say like, Hey, this is a really unsafe assignment and I want out. But I think she, she, like, I think recorded a note on her phone of, like, just dumped her whole mind into that note. So she, like, remembered exactly what happened. Mm-hmm. And then she was able to, like, delineate to her recruiter, like, all of these different things that, yeah. you know, this is why this was so unsafe. And they were like, oh, you have more than enough grounds to say that this is, this is not okay. And that, like, we can, we can leave. So... Yeah, it's nice so those, when the agencies protect their their nurses yeah. too. Yeah, it's, it's important. It's key. Yeah, yeah, it's so key. So yeah. like you know a a talk like that, you know, I, there's there's a ton of, you know, I'm sure there's a ton of topics you could like brainstorm and think about and then True. submit. One of our podcast episodes, you know, like yeah. 
just well, yeah. we did a, record a whole episode on how can't Hannah traveled or Hannah canceled her travel contract. Yes, too. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's true. We could just like do a whole thing on NICU nursing if we wanted to. Or... Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so true. Yeah, because there was a couple different um, people talking about their specialties. Um, Melanie Mosberg is another one. She talked about case management. Oh and, yeah, yeah. She and that was great because I feel like I I like I know what case management is like, but to actually hear about like you know what's all expected and like how things work and the logistics of it all, I think was really insightful. Yeah, it might you know give some inspiration to people who are looking for like a, a switch or need a change too. So yeah, yeah, that it's so true. And then the one that we all attended together was the diversity. Um, I forget what the, diversity. And equity, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that was fantastic. I thought that uh, was yeah. led by Emily Chang and she kind of led the discussion with like a panel of um, mm-hmm. nurses from different ethnic backgrounds and they were all, it always just like, it hits hard. Like it just makes mm-hmm. you really think about your, um, your own experiences and the way that, you know, you, um, treat others in the hospital and like yeah. how you can be better to advocate mm-hmm. for other people. Um, yeah. so that was, that was amazing. I thought, yeah, that was really good. I think they talked about allyship and like what that actually means and, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, how that might differ than, you know, people might think it's not just, you know, posting something like two years ago, it's, it's like being intentional and, and like actively being an advocate and standing up for people in your day to day. And so like that, I felt like I took away from that. Like, yeah, I really, I, I could definitely like show up and be more intentional about like making sure that my environment is like very inclusive. And, you know, there's definitely times where I feel like I haven't said anything like when I like see something happening and I just like, you know, let it go and, and, you know, I shouldn't do that. And like, there's no reason for me to like not say something. Yeah. Right. I wish one thing I wanted to ask them was, you know, what is the best way to say something? Like if someone hasn't, you know, is really, is scared of standing up for, um, yeah, no, standing up to their coworker or whatever. Like, how do you go about that in a productive way? Yeah. Um, but I think one, I feel like one person was pretty much saying like, you know, we hold ourselves to a professional standard and, Mm -hmm. you know, to a level of respect and we have the same expectation that you will, Mm -hmm. you know, have that same level of professionalism and respect, which I thought was like that. I mean, it doesn't that have works. to be any more than that. Just like letting yeah. people know, like, yeah, we're, that's not tolerated. Here. Yeah, I think that was Georgie. Is that correct? yeah? Is that right? On the yeah. end, she was great, and I I loved her. She I thought she was so, um, just like mature and like gentle the way that she like, um, that the way that she spoke about it. Because I feel like sometimes mm-hmm. I have the tendency to get really angry when I see yeah. like injustice and stuff. So I will more like lash out or snap at people, which isn't really the most uh, effective way. Like people aren't going to be receptive to that. So I thought Mm -hmm. listening to how she would approach it was really helpful. Yeah. Yeah. I think she was also talking about, um, using translators, right. Or maybe it was somebody else they were talking about. That was like another really frustrating thing. I think in the hospital is when people don't Mm -hmm. use the translation services and somebody, it wasn't Georgie, it was somebody else, but they were like, I just bring that, you know, translation service thing in the room and just turn it on. So, you know, the docs are forced to use it, <laughs> are forced to use it. But like that, mm-hmm. I, that to me is just so disrespect. Yeah. Okay. Now I remember when she was like, you know, when somebody doesn't understand the English language and the doc comes in and they just talk louder and slower in English, it's like, no, it's not helpful. It's not going <laughs> to no. work. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's, oh God, it's so frustrating. And, and we have so many opportunities, like so many, um, you know, ways in technology to make this a readily available 
service and resource yeah. like we just need to use them like i understand that you have two minutes to like see every patient and that's yeah. fine but like if you know that this spanish-speaking patient is the next one like just pull open your language yeah. app before i you will get say into though them. it depends on facility though like when i think back to my terrible assignment in new york it was in a really di- diverse area well i mean new york city in general is like super diverse but where i was mm. was extra extra diverse <laughs> um which is great, but um, it was also very poor community, very poor facility. So we didn't have a lot of resources, which makes it so much harder. And then the nursing assignments are heavier because they're so short-staffed and desperate. That's why they hired all of us travelers. And it makes it so much harder for the nurses when you have like all these extra patients. You're not even on your own unit. You're floating. And then you have all of your families speak a different language. And there's not a translating thing in sight. So that's something that, um, I don't know, like facilities need more of these, you know, trans, I don't know what they're called, like translating devices or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Sericom. Um, yeah. Sericom. Yeah. They need more of those to be able to adequately care for the patients. So it's right. frustrating on, on nursing and on nursing's end. And it's frustrating, more frustrating for the patients because they don't know what's happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just seems like it's basic care. You know, it's just basic needs, especially in a place that's so diverse. That's like, that is a red flag too. It was. (laughs) Everything was was a red flag. I was like, I can't. I can't anymore. Oh, well, I'm glad that you left that assignment. Me too. (laughs) I feel bad for them though. Like it's a a terrible place to to, work. Well, and then the permanent nurses get complacent too and they just like are like this is how it is and mm-hmm. yeah and they're frustrated being... with the travelers making more money and then we're just there to help but but then we're being, being put in worse. unsafe situations and then the yeah. patients suffer and it's just a bad cycle mm-hmm. all around but yeah you could definitely tell you tell your story like submit submit a uh <laughs> request to be a speaker next year at TravCon. Maybe. <laughs> I would feel more comfortable with both of us up there because I am not the best public speaker, but we're getting there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel like when you talk about nursing, though, you know, and you, like, talk about your your story, I think that it's, it's easier than... Yeah. You don't have to, like, but, study. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But totally. I mean, I I haven't given, like, a presentation and... 10 years, you know? Yeah. (laughs) Nursing school. (laughs) It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh my gosh. So, okay. I'm trying to think of some other things that I went to. I, I, the keynote speaker was Terry Foster. He was a, he's a clinical nurse specialist and I can't remember where exactly he works, but, um, he's been on, there's this TV show called like untold stories of the er yeah or yep. something he's been on that show like multiple times and cool. he's an old old er nurse and he was talking about the most popular episode on that show is where mm-hmm. this guy like <laughs> i think he like got his junk stuck in like a toolbox or something like it was just like the oh, weirdest as they were do. like camping or something and <laughs> And Terry was this guy's nurse, and it's like the most popular episode oh, on the show. What? But oh, oh my, my god. gosh, he's been so apparently he's been like a keynote speaker for so many. He's done like so many different talks. He's like well decorated in the last you know for decades. Like, mm-hmm. and his stories. It was he his topic was about like using humor in healthcare, but essentially it was just like all of his like stories through the years and I was crying (laughs) like he was the way that he like tells stories and things oh my gosh he just I wish we went (laughs) we can we can go back and listen to it because everything was recorded this year oh cool oh oh I didn't realize that that. everybody go watch go watch it it is where can we find that that's a great question um it might be I, like if you yeah. log in to TravCon, I would assume like their yeah. website, that's probably where they all are. I can try and 
oh look right now. <laughs> no, it was his stories were just it really made me want to start writing my stories down. Yeah. And I've said that so many times in my career, like, oh, I'm going to start, you know, journaling and then I never do. But seriously, if you're a new nurse or like doesn't even have to be a new nurse, write things down because they you're going to look back and be like, I cannot believe that happened to me. Like yeah. only in nursing. And yeah. details do flee your memory, you know, like you're never going to yeah. remember it more than like the day that it happened or if it was like yesterday or whatever, you know, yeah. but I feel like as years go on, you're like, oh, what, what did they say? It was something like, but it's never, you know, as fresh. Yeah. There was this one story, God, he had so many and they were just all so freaking funny. But there, <laughs> the one that I remember, there was this woman that she was in, I think she was like about to go to a procedure or something and they put NPO above her bed mm-hmm. and um, I think they were telling her to like, you know, they like put her in a gown or whatever and then um, they put NPO <laughs> behind her bed and she was kind of like, I don't know, like looked a little like put off that they put that sign up and she was like, you know, looking around at other people and just like becoming like more uncomfortable and stuff and and finally, like, she was like, are they going to just keep that sign up there? Like, that's really intrusive. And <laughs> Terry was like, what do you mean? And she was like, that means no panties on, right? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you think that? Like, they put it on at the same time that she was like, they, like, put her gown on and, like... <laughs> dead oh my oh gosh my it was she's like so upset she's like the hell she's like, that's like, like that's messed so up everybody here just knows <laughs> no panties on oh, oh very my yeah gosh. that's a medical term uh, i'll never think of npo the same again <laughs> i know oh my gosh you gotta get so i'm like hoping that i i actually met him afterwards i'm hoping to have him on the podcast so that'd be awesome, awesome. That'd be great. Yeah, because, I mean, it was just so funny. He was talking about, like, you know, what you can laugh about, what you can't laugh about, but mostly yeah. just, like, our crazy, dark, and twisted humor, and that, that's just yeah, how, sure we how we cope. You got it. Yeah. 100%. Absolutely. Oh, oh gosh, he sounds awesome. So funny. I'm going to try and find where we can watch that back, because that sounds awesome. Like, I need oh, to see God. it. Yeah, please do. I was literally crying. I'm like tearing up right now thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, talk to me about some of the events, like after party events. What were some of your favorite ones? Yeah, it is such a, like a cluster. Um, <laughs> it is like, it's overwhelming too the amount of events that all of the agencies throw and they're all fully hosted, completely free to travelers and attendees of the conference, um, which is really awesome. But they're a little kind of hard to find. You have to like join these Facebook groups or watch yeah. their Instagrams and just kind of know, I guess, uh, through word of mouth. But I think my favorite is the Summit uh, Summit staffing. They ha- do a pool party at the Paris and they so do that for oh. like three days straight. Like, I think it's like Friday, Saturday, what? Sunday. And, um, from like 10 to four, you can just go. And it's like, they have, I mean, it's not fully every drink is free, but they have a ton of seltzers and stuff like all day long. And there's a theme Crazy. every day and you just go. And, um, that was a blast. Um, it was so fun. Loved that it. was so much fun. That's and awesome. Gosh, what else did kind of was the best? The neon party. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, it was like up in, I don't know, I think it was in Old Vegas, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was. And the place that it was at was so cool and everything, I mean, the whole place was neon and had like graffiti and everybody was dressed in neon. So everybody had like glow paint and stuff and the music was so good and everybody was dancing (sighs) and that was hosted by um, Lead Health and the MedVenture app. Mm-hmm. And they're all just like amazing people. Just such good energy. It was a vibe. It was That's that was awesome. so much fun. Yeah. That was such I think a I blast. saw you guys in like astronaut suits or something. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We were astronauts. That's, we went. We went to <laughs> um, Trusted Health had with Medventure had this uh, smash room party. So oh, it was fun. or like a break room. Yep. So that was awesome. Yeah, we got in these like big bunny suits essentially, <laughs> and like went into the break room and we broke a printer. I a think printer. with some hammers and crowbar. Thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Um, Didn't know there was so much was... anger in there. Like, dang. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, whoa, I'm strong. <laughs> yeah. It was. It really came out. It really did. It was like, it was actually really like cathartic. I was like, yeah. Because you could just oh go as God. hard as you wanted. Like, how, when do you ever get to do that? Like, we were just like, yeah. How hard can you, you can hit this as, thing? As many times as you want. Like, you could, you do different things, like different, I don't even know what other objects they had that you could break apart, but a lot of stuff like that. Oh um, and then they had like a splatter paint area as well. Um, but again, that's all like hosted with food and drinks. So yeah. you get your like breakfast, your <laughs> you lunch. Get drunk and then start sm- smashing oh, yeah. a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. A little dangerous, but it's fine. A little <laughs> no dangerous. One was hurt. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just so. Gosh, I'm trying to think of like what else was so fun. I've the always wanted to like. Actually, there's a place like near my house that's called I can't remember what it's Havoc House is what it's called. Okay. Oh, nice. And I'm like, yeah, you can go for like 20 minutes or yeah. I'm like, dang, I got check try it out. This. I've yeah. been to a smash room before, but it was not like that. Like the one that I yeah. went to before was like they just gave you a like a box of bottles, like glass bottles, and then they just threw them at the wall and. It was kind of hmm. like kind of lame, honestly, but this was <laughs> actually really cool. And they had like light. other stuff in it too. Like they had a little photo booth. So we got like cute little pics together with props. Yeah. And they took us there in like a a van with stretch like a limo, a stretch limo. Yeah. With like it had a little pole in there and we were all dancing. And I was like, OK, OK, Travcon. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that is so fun. It was I fun. know. Uh, but honestly, like the after party at Dre's, which is yeah. we, they had it at Dre's last year. So this is like the Travcon hosted after party yeah. that comes with your ticket was is so cool. It's um, my friends who go to Vegas a lot that are not like nurses or anything. They're like Dre's is the best like beach club on the strip. Uh, oh, they were cool. saying the other day. And so it's just like all outside bunch of pools but you can also kind of like walk in the water and uh has an amazing view of the strip and then again you go there's drinks just unlimited drinks are, yeah are yeah for you and the um, agencies have little suites in there too like almost almost like at the conference how they have their yeah. their booths like they have little suites with the sign of like mm-hmm. the name of the agency over top so you can go like pop in and say hi and then they have oh, drinks cool. and you can oh kind gosh. of still mingle and meet people and stuff it's just it's so cool everybody's so you know, nice too you know what i just thought and it, which should be some next year this is a great idea for next year somebody should sponsor an iv bar Yes, That's what we were I was, so yeah. I was started, I started working for actually like an IV company, um, just recently as PRN and I'm literally going to like talk to them about it for next year. I'm like, we yes. should absolutely do that because that would be amazing for yeah. them, but we need it Yeah, as nurses. Like we need that. I wonder yeah. if you can just like get like a bus or something like an I just like put it outside the conference and people can just, you know, get it after like all of these events and stuff just to like, you know, get ready for the next day. Oh my God. That would make a killing. I desperately needed that. (laughs) I I would have gotten one every day. I would have. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. Throw a little Zofran push in there too. It would have been. Yes. Banana bag. Yes. Some I'm going to talk to them about it next year for sure. (laughs) literally like yeah heal the liver yeah. Mm-hmm. yes oh my gosh i know it's just so fun and we like it's really neat to meet all the different recruiters from all the agencies and just get to chat with them like we like really kicked it up or hit it off with a couple of um different agencies a couple of people from them and we were like oh my gosh you guys are the best but yeah um, it's just interesting to think about how much money they all spend, though, too. I know. I mean, they put so much. Like, AMN gave away 40 iPads. Like, you just spin a wheel, and 
you just all of a sudden have an iPad. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, like it was what? a huge hit. There was like a line out, like blocking many booths. There like, was a all huge the way. Line. Yeah, it's it, it is definitely the event for agencies for recruiting agencies. It is. Yeah, yeah. It was it was really cool to like yeah see the people behind the the voice on the phone. You know, because I think yeah. I learned a lot about. Um, what a recruiter does at, at TravCon, which I didn't, I didn't really do that last year as much, but just because we spent so much time meeting new people and hanging yeah. out with them and like getting to know them just as friends and as, as people that we, we were just like asking about like, so what is it like, um, you know, like a day to day. And, and I, I learned so much and it was great. I feel like it helped so much because sometimes we get so frustrated as nurses on the, like on the nursing side, we're like, how come yeah. like, we weren't, we didn't get this one and then, uh, or this job and like, why, I don't know. It's just about understanding the process of like why they do things the way that they do. And it, it made a lot of sense. And I thought that was really cool and helpful. And I, yeah, so nice. I feel like that would be really helpful to like mm-hmm. get the perspective of a recruiter. Maybe we'll have to yeah. do an episode on that. Yeah. We're recruiter. definitely going to have, have some on our pod for sure. Because yeah, I didn't know any of that. I was like, Oh that's a lot yeah. of work. <laughs> right. I know yeah. I was talking to um one of the AMN recruiters and she was talking about how she has like 90 plus nurses. And I was like, "Oh my that gosh. Is wild. I did not realize that they have so many people to manage sometimes." And like, how do you remember personal things about each person yeah. because you they want like I want them to know about my life and like remember things that I've told them and my preferences and all of that. Like, yeah. you have 90 you gotta make, take really good notes. Yeah, notes. Yeah, that's like being a teacher. <laughs> like, how do you remember right. ninety names? <laughs> or like a financial advisor? I would have like, to have like a uh, like cheat sheet. Yeah, it's just it's a great conference. Honestly, um, they like also feed you, which is awesome. Yeah, at the conference itself, that you get was... breakfast and lunch both days, and it's good too. It was Very really good. good. I'm like, yeah, the, I love like Greek and Mediterranean and mm-hmm. I had no expectations for that food. I thought it was going to be scrambled eggs and no, it was like really good lunch. The lunch really is good. like on point. It's yeah. so yummy. Yeah. Even it's though, worth it. I mean, they did have, they did have eggs and stuff in the morning, but they had like, I don't know, like chicken sausage and bacon and mm-hmm. like all these like, different pastries. Yeah, they had like different types of potatoes. And then mm-hmm. for lunch, there was like all these different types of like pasta salads, short rib. There was like a mussel oh, or something. Like, yeah. That, those short ribs were so good. <laughs> that saved my life. <laughs> they were delicious. But really, I mean, they go all out with the food, which is nice yeah. because it's so expensive to eat anything in Vegas. So yeah, to yes. have that included in your ticket is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. To have that and drinks too, because drinks are oh my gosh, so yeah. expensive. Yes. Emily, oh my God! Well, the last night we went out after Dre's. We went to the Om- Omnia um, to like watch a DJ, and obviously that was not sponsored by Travcon, so we had to buy our drinks there. Guess how much two drinks were? I don't even want to talk about it. How many? I don't like a hundred total. Hundred and twenty-one. Ah, uh, for for like for two for two. For two. two drinks, two drinks each. No, no total. <laughs> Stop it! Isn't that terrible? No. We got the double, like the larger size, because we were like, "Well, I don't want to have to come back and wait yeah, in this line yeah. again." And yeah, I had no idea. Like, I had literally no idea how much it was going to cost. I just handed them my card, and I got the receipt back, and I wanted to throw up. I was oh. like. <laughs> it's yeah. it's horrible but i was like i don't want it anymore Could yeah take it like back? take it back <laughs> i, I, I want to return it not worth it oh, yeah but honestly gosh. i feel like if you're yeah. a nurse a traveler or interested in travel nursing and you're listening like this is and you're interested in going to vegas like this is the way to do it because 100 everything's included and so you pay for your ticket and it's yeah. not bad and, and the earlier you get the ticket the cheaper it is um yeah and it includes so much and you can get CEUs by day mm-hmm. and like learn so much and meet so many amazing people. And then 
go out and do the Vegas fun party things at night. And it's like, except for if you go to the Omnia, but like all the uh, agency, um, you know, hosted events are, are paid Free for. Drinks. So it's, yeah. yeah, it's really cheap on it. Like all together. It's a cheap That's way to so do Vegas. True. And it's so fun. Cause you're with all of your, your mm-hmm. nursing friends. So it's great. Yeah. We yeah, haven't even talked about the swag. <laughs> oh my oh god. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's so so many things by the end of the by the end of the week. Just bags and bags of People stuff that bring are never extra gonna... suitcases to bring their swag home in. It's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> every every booth has just they're just giving things away. Just, yeah. I have so many socks. <laughs> Yes. I got a I got Yeti so cup. So many tumblers, like <laughs> yes. a Yeti cup, like this giant, like Stanley cup, pretty much. Yeah, it's I'm really like, nice. okay, it's actually yeah. super nice. I'm like, y'all went all out. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Amen was giving away these like bento boxes that had, <sighs> like, um, it had a coffee mug in there. It had like these little things to like put sushi in it had it had like three or four things in these boxes you get oh, like cute. that there that was cute. um yeah they had like i don't know it's just so many different things they had iPads. Hats, <laughs> ipads yeah, i mean that was like the biggest yeah like being at the booth and like watching that wheel and then all of a sudden somebody win an ipad like that was so much fun because people just awesome. like they would just be losing their mind they're like yeah. Jumping up and down like, I cannot believe that this just happened. It was <laughs> it was a lot of fun. That's awesome. That's People were giving awesome. away like cash yeah. prizes too. Like you could have a chance to win a thousand dollars. I got five bucks. Yeah. Not a thousand, but hey, cash <laughs> is cash. What yeah. else? Like trips, trip giveaways, like really nice, fancy bags yeah. and luggage. And I didn't win anything big, That's but right. it's okay. <laughs> Did you guys gamble at all while you were there? <laughs> oh, no. No. Did you? I'm not a gambler. I didn't either. I, yeah. Matt, actually, we put $40 in, and then once we got it back, I was like, we're done. We're done. Yeah. I'm not doing this. Like, we got. It's good you got it back. So we, like, left, left that table with, like, $39, and I was like, that's <laughs> fine. I'm just so afraid of just, I was like, I feel like I'm donating to the casinos, and like, yeah, why I mean, are we here? But this isn't fun for me. Yeah, not my thing. But that's no, okay. not at all. I know yeah. one recruiter told us that he was like felt really good about like this crab stable or something. I can't remember what it was. He, he was like, I'm putting a hundred dollars on black, and it. He felt he was like, I know I'm gonna win, and he lost. <laughs> oh, of, co- of course. Of course. Yeah. Immediately. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I didn't think that that would actually happen. <laughs> he was yeah. feeling all confident. <laughs> that hurts. I could. Yeah. I just couldn't. That is definitely yeah. If if you like to gamble, Vegas is also the conference would be a great great place for you. It's literally yeah. everywhere. Like you cannot go anywhere without there being like no, a slot machine. Can't. Yeah, you cannot escape. It's in it. the airport. It's literally yes. at the gate when you get out. They are yeah. right there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Before you even see a bathroom, there's slot machines. Yeah. It's what really unbelievable. <laughs> it's, it's so over the top. But I mean, it's, there's, only, there's no place like it, you know. Yeah. There really we actually, isn't. we went to one of the nights we did a comedy show. Like we went to the Eiffel Tower oh, restaurant. Fun. Yeah. Because it was our anniversary. Yes. So that night we went to the Eiffel Tower restaurant and then we went to a comedy show. And I mean, if you can, like there's obviously it's so overwhelming, like all the different things that you can do. But like when in Vegas, like try to go to a show or something like they're always so good. I have a friend that oh, went yeah. to Awakening. That was like another it's like a Cirque du Soleil type cool. show. And I was like looking at some of her, you know, photos and videos of the show. Oh, my God. God, they like pull out all the stops. That's cool. That sounds, I know. We got to like, <laughs> but there's like, we got to weigh our options next year. Yeah. <laughs> but I totally agree. Like, there's so many things that are free. So that ticket, like, it's like a $700 ticket, I think, for to get to TrapCon, right? It's like $700. It's cheaper if it's your bucks. second year, I think. And there's like an early bird discount, I think. 
I, I only paid three hundred. Yeah, around there. Oh, 250 really? Or three hundred. Yeah. Yeah. It right. Yeah. When I in my our first year, I think I paid around three hundred. Also. Oh, that's a lot less than I thought. Oh my gosh, that is definitely it's a no like, brainer. People can super do that. worth it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the hotels are cheaper too because they have deals with the Paris and with the Horseshoe. Um, so we got, I mean, our hotel for four nights, like at like probably $110 a night yeah. or something. Like really yeah. not bad. Mm-hmm. Um, they tack on a resort fee in there too, but it's really like pretty reasonable. And then the flights are super cheap to get there. So really, if you're just going to all this free stuff and eating the food at the conference, like... It's yeah. pretty affordable. It's so worth yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of like choose your own adventure too. Like, obviously, your experience was different than ours, but it's kind of like, you know, you can do as much of the conference part as you want, as much of the partying as you want, or yeah. you don't have to go to the mm-hmm. night events. Like, you can go to shows, you can go to concerts yeah. while you're there. Um, I think a lot of people saw who the heck was playing while we were there. Was it? I don't know why I'm thinking it's Dead Mouse. Was it someone else? <laughs> Oh, no, I can't remember. No, I don't know. But there's like, there's always no idea. concerts, I feel like every single weekend. So you could always like plan your trip around that too. And I don't know. Yeah, there's just so many different things you can do. A lot of people extended their trip to go to like the Life is Beautiful festival yeah. after, like the weekend after Vegas or the Travcon. Oh, that's um, so cool. Yeah, people are and like, I think still they did there. that last year too. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, people just stay there for weeks, and I'm like, oh, okay. No, I need a couple of days. I'm I would good. not be able to if they didn't feed me breakfast and lunch the whole yeah. time. Like, I would not be able to afford to stay in Vegas. It's so expensive. Like, it's Crazy. unbelievable. Like, we went to the cutest brunch, the three of us, like oh at the gosh, most I adorable forgot. place, but it was so expensive. <laughs> it was. It's yeah. like avocado toast. Hello. That'll be twenty dollars. You're like, oh, okay. That it place was, was so cute, though. It really. Like, it was like all Insta worthy, like all. It was, that's what you know. It was set up for that. It was like totally roses sense. and like beautiful flowers and everything everywhere and chandeliers and yeah, normal. like super pink and girly and um, re- the food was really pretty. Or like your latte came out with like a little. I don't even know how they do it, but it's like stamped it's like with printed. like a saying yeah. in it. Yeah. And just everything was just so extra, but like in the best way. Yeah. I'm yeah, so glad we fun. got to do that than just like hang out the three of us because yes. like, it's so like, yeah, there's just so many things to do. And like, I'm just glad that we got to like sit down and hang for a little bit. I am too. That, that was too. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Like it's so, it was so great to meet you guys life. in person. <laughs> I know. It felt like we've already, I mean, we've had like hour long conversations already, but it just, you know, it felt Mm -hmm. like we've known each other forever. So yeah, it was so special and cool. It really was. I loved it. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it here. I think we covered everything. I I mean, covered it. Yeah. Conference and expo and parties. Yeah. So where can everybody find you guys? Let's plug the podcast, plug the Instagram. Yeah, absolutely. So um, on Instagram, we are at drunk or delirious. Um, you can also find our podcast on Apple, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, all the places you find podcasts. So check Google. us out. Google, yeah. All the things. And it's a great podcast. Yeah. We've had a lot yeah, of awesome we talk, people uh, on there. Mostly nursing. Mostly nursing. Mostly nursing. <laughs> Mostly yeah, nursing, <laughs> travel nursing, some lifestyle, yeah. uh, just random things. But All the above. Yeah, yes. it's a fun. Uh, all right, guys. Well, it was so great to see you again. And so great let's to make see it you too. Not, not so long. Yes, yes. absolutely. 100%. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> that brings us to the end of the show. Thanks for tuning in to Nursing Uncharted. To learn more about today's episode, make sure to explore the show notes at AmericanMobile.com slash Nursing Uncharted. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a guest. If you're a nurse interested in traveling, visit AmericanMobile.com to explore the largest database of travel nursing jobs in the industry and the amazing benefits that American Mobile has to offer. 
Also, a special thanks to producer Jonathan Carey, assistant producers Katie Schrauben and Sam McKay, and Aiden Dykes for the music and editing. Until next time, take care of yourself. Thank you.